bending over, and my friend, the const not the constructor, the uh, structural engineer, Klaus Bollinger, is it comparing it with the, with the, uh, with the construction of a medieval church. It's, we don't know yet, we are in the 10th floor, we don't know yet, and it's not calculable how much the building will move on the top. So therefore, we have a lot of difficulty to, uh, to bring the, the, the facade builder to the site because he doesn't know when he is mounting the facade like they always do in a conventional building. The facade, uh, according the building uh, pro progress up. Actually, it's, it's bending and twisted and has the advantage that it's easily to build because every um, uh, arched and, and uh, twisted form is generated by straightforward elements. That gives us the chance um, the bending of the building in this, uh, in this case gives us the chance to have a, a larger view and uh, even on the north side sun that influences the structure, the climate of the energy design very much. It saves 30 percent uh, less than the codes are asking for. These mega sculptures are um, um, planted, uh, means um, uh, filled with green plants in order to control the microclimate and the shape of the of these mega structures is generated by the DND of the plants uh, which will cover the this culture. I wouldn't tell you the problems we have with this building, um, the project management, the client, and all the other guys who are involved in this project are, the, are really enemies of architects and architecture. Uh, we, are under, we are under construction, so <laughs> they, they cannot prohibit it. This is a, a building um, in Denmark, a music school and a music hall for 1,200 people, acoustically very delicate and sophisticated, as you can see. The, the surface is sculptured along the acoustical needs. The, uh, the third one is the Lyon uh, project, a uh, natural history museum. We won this competition in 2000. Uh, we are on site right now. So <laughs> it means maybe this project will take 13 years of my life. <laughs> so it's worth to fight for it. Otherwise, you can throw it away and say, okay, I spent 13 years with this um, project, but it, it's not good enough, so why shouldn't we fight? We are, we, we are suing the client, and, uh, but we got through. So this is what um, I wanted to say. Uh, radical thinking or radical architecture is not only radical thinking, it's also radical building, getting through with all the ideas, even you, when you are losing money. So the reason I'm not going to Mexico after this visit is this building. Uh, the clients scheduled the opening at the end of this month. Um, as you can see later on on the uh, building of the construction site, <laughs> you, I cannot imagine that it will be finished. I was there uh, one month ago. It looks like that, half finished, but they insist that this building should be open at the Asian Movie um, Festival Actually, this is the building for, for this Asian um, film festival, um, and big um, open air cinema for 6,000 people and cinemas for 1,000 people in, inside. The roof 
is a very special st structure. The roof can deliver, uh, covers them, the public space, so to say. It's can delivering about 85 meters. When 85 meters, the whole roof uh, measures 120 meters to 60 meters, so it's uh, bigger than BMW, the same structural method, but more advanced developed. And when we had this roof on the floor, ready to lift it up because it was one part was finished and uh, um, put on the floor, welded together, and then it should be lifted up. We got the message <laughs> that uh, we have to change the whole roof because the codes uh, says that the tornado, the power of tornado, increases from 120 kilometers per hour um, into uh, 200 kilometers um, per hour. That means uh, the decision was to remodel the whole thing, recalculate it, and redimension the whole members, or what we did, we proposed, and what we did is that we introduced a column, a hydraulic column sunken in the floor, but if the wind gets stronger than 120 miles or kilometer per hour, then the column will come up and fix it down. <laughs> we should get the money uh, for this idea because they saved a lot of money. So this is the animation we did in order to um, provide them how I want to come to the, the opening. <laughs> so this is the arrival of the architect. <laughs> and this uh, construction site photographs you can see that it's enormous can delivering and only hold in place by the double column. And the bridge is actually the extended red carpet. From there, all the stars will wave to the audience, to the public. And this is the, the, the first rehearsal of the LED um, uh, roof. A lot of projection will be um, played uh, horizontal on the roof. See the red, the extended red carpet? And this is how it plays the, within this fabulous neighborhood. The cinema inside for 1,000 people. Yeah, the number, yeah, you know, the bigger the country, the, the bigger the numbers. And so. Um, the, uh, the last big thing we have under construction is the conference center in Dalian. Italian is a Chinese city. The conference center is um, a mixture between a cultural um, uh, building and a conference building. Um, it's far away from our office. The flight is always long and tiring, but it's exciting when you are there. Beautiful site, I have to say, and um, we designed the plaza around as well. The, uh, it will be the end of the city, the edge of the uh, expansion of Dalian. And this, uh, the, the design concept was, uh, we used uh, an idea we had uh, 20, 30 years ago, meaning that we said the feeling of the inside stretches the skin of the outside. This is, what is the open house. We designed for a site here in LA. We never uh, built it. But the idea, and BMW did it perfectly in this movie, the idea was if he pushes the program out, uh, then the, the shape will uh, get uh, in, a, um, in another connotation than if we do it just like a box. So this is the strategy. A lot of models necessary to 
to bring the whole thing into a building, the program into a building, because the opera building inside is bigger than um, the opera in Vienna, for instance. It has about 2,300 seat, and the complicated, yes, you see the building, it's an enormous large building. It covers uh, almost uh, the first district of Vienna. And here you can see what I mean by the, in the, the feeling of the inside pushes uh, the skin of the outside. You can see that it's deformed by pushing the, 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 the program um, through or uh, to the borderline of the, of the uh, surface. Um, this is the program. The yellow um, pieces are uh, the conference halls, 36 conference hall, and in the middle, the core, there is the opera building. Yeah, you can read the, the, the design, opera building, backstage, uh, and uh, 36 in two le levels uh, uh, conference rooms. Uh, this is organized in two levels without um, pushing the image of the two-level building open systems. Here you could see the, the opera building. Uh, in the middle, the, the entrance, stage, and the bridges, connecting the levels and the um, infrastructural program. The opera itself, you can see this is a big opera building. Uh, very complicated because they want to have not only conventional opera, but they also want to have shows. So we have to mix the normal, regular acoustic needs with electroacoustic needs. That's very complicated to bundle that in one space because the, the, the surface has to be very different because of the reflection. Here you can see the calculation of the acoustic guy. So we have to react to every uh, reflection, meaning swallow the, the sound one time or reflect it the other times. Uh, the backstage is a multifunctional backstage. You can see the metal surface of the inside. It's very, very similar to the metal of the outside. So it's a monolithic. Uh, uh, dynamic, monolithic dynamic uh, building. I like that. How can a monolith be dy dy dynamic? Here you can see it. <laughs> so it's, the whole building is a steel structure. They couldn't handle the uh, construction in, um, in concrete. So then people say, we are using too much steel, and this is not healthy, and it's not sustainable. And I say, OK, the steel is the amount of the steel of um, 105 tanks. So uh, we are reducing the amount of military tanks in China by 105 tanks by building a cultural center. So. Yeah, you know how to do it. This is the facade, but to build it's not that easy, um, especially in China. Um, the energy system, um, the energy concept is easy to explain. We used, we didn't do a black box. We, we, the concept was to have a glass box, and the louvers are controlling the light, controlling the wind, uh, and creating energy. So that means the liveliness of the facade is very rational. View controlling the wind and shading, and on the other hand, um, creating, energy by, uh, creating energy by solar panels. So the liveliness of the facade is a very important uh, point. So it's under construction. It will be finished next. January, 
And you can see the enormous amount of steel 